Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out tonight. It's a beautiful night outside. It's probably the first time we've had a really nice night like this in a long time. So there's probably uh, some people out here that would like to be outside doing some things. But we're really glad that you take it tonight to come here and enjoy this fifth grade program. These kids have worked really hard on this. And um, they're really excited to, about the play tonight. So before I forget, though, I need to um, announce that there are t-shirts in the uh, right outside the door here. And if you could have your child vote on the t-shirt that they would like uh, before you leave tonight, that would be helpful. So uh, they're right outside the door on the table. They just need to vote for which one they prefer. So I want to thank Mrs. Voris. She always puts on a great show for the, or helps the kids organize and, and, uh, and do the shows that we have. Without her, we just really uh, would not have anything close to the, the programs that we have tonight. So I want to just really make sure we send a thanks to her. And to all the PTO moms and dads who've helped with all the cookies and things tonight. Uh, there's a lot of things, so please stay for a few minutes afterwards for some refreshments. Also want to thank our custodians, Dave and Asa, for helping with everything, with the chairs and the setup, and uh, they do a great job. And also for the teachers here at Old Salmo for being so flexible with the scheduling. We do a lot of rehearsing, schedule changes, and all that sort of thing. And accommodating all those things uh, takes a lot of flexibility and scheduling. So thanks to all the teachers for all, all of that, too. And we got Mrs. D. She's going to be running our sound. Are you running sound tonight, right? Okay, good. A lot of pressure over there. The sound. But I know. I've messed it up before. So, All right. So I think we're about ready to start. Mrs. Morris wanted to say a few things. Well, Mr. Wolfie did such a nice job. Thank you for um, all of your kind words. And I did just want to say, once again, this is not a one-man band. This is a, an effort that everybody uh, makes a contribution. And, and like, um, you know, Janet stepped in at the last minute to help us out, and I really appreciate that. And this group of fifth graders, I've told them repeatedly, they have been the easiest and nicest kids to work with. They have not complained about the extra rehearsals. They have just really, you know, dug in and done a fabulous job. And I think you'll be pleased too. And without further ado, here we go.
So, look what the cat dragged in. So we meet again, Billy Bones. I have a little gift from, from me and all your old friends. You're no friend of mine, now get out of here. Oh, they got me. <laughs> Captain Bones! They wanted Captain Flint's treasure map. Wait, you have the map? Captain Flint gave it to me for safekeeping and said if I ever showed it to anyone, he'd hunt me down like a dog. And he did! What are you going to do? Take the map. Hide it somewhere safe. Watch out for the man with one leg. Captain Bones! He's, he's dead! What are we going to do? You and his friends are coming back any second. I'll keep this map under my pillow. Meet me tomorrow at Meet me tomorrow at Squire Jelani's house. Now let's get out of here, quick!
Something bothers me about Long John Silver. What do you mean? He's supposed to be a great cook. That may be, but I'm keeping my eye on him. I agree with you, Captain Smollett. Every time I get near him, I have the feeling he's up to no good. If it wasn't for Long John, I've never got to get the crew together so fast. <laughs> it seems like our crew is nothing more than a gang of pirates. Pirates? I won't rest until this voyage is over. Now let's be on our way.
innkeeper's son has the map. We need a plan. Don't worry about that. We, I always have a plan. Land ahoy! Land ahoy! <laughs>
know that your tribe is a force to be reckoned with. They mean no harm. Have you seen the pirates? That time? Oh yeah, me no fault. Thank <laughs> you. 